Good day, YouTube. Today I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade from Linux Mint 20.3 to the beta release of Linux Mint 21. Now Linux Mint 21 is quite a big release difference here because it is running on the latest long-term service release of Ubuntu that just came out, so Ubuntu 22.04. But without further ado, I'll show you what to do. So what we do need to do is open up a bit of a terminal. Oh, and I'll show you, I've got the Linux Mint 21 and Cinnamon there and uh, I'll just open up a new terminal. Now there are a few commands to do and oh well first of all full disclaimer do not do this on a, on a on your daily driver, your main machine, all of that because it's it's heavily unstable. Actually it's not too bad but I just can't trust it personally. If you were to back up anything and everything first if you just got the one machine to do this with otherwise you'll be testing it out on a virtual machine like I am now. Now quite a few commands, but always what you need to do firstly, and I hope you can see that. In fact, I might just punch up the graphics for you guys on uh, both accounts there. The Actually, that should be big enough there, but we need to update the repositories first. So sudo apt update, then sudo apt upgrade. Actually, I probably won't type that one in or I won't enter it because it will take a while. Uh, part two is this said command. So I'll explain in just a hot second what this one means, but uh, there we go. So let's really punch this up for you guys a bit further. So here's the thing with this one. So this is just a, like a search and find and change command here, this said command. So it's changing from the Una release, uh, which is 20.3, to the Vanessa release, which is 21. So you throw in that uh, part two, hit enter, I'll throw in your password, away you go. Then you have to do the same again for basically the, the same thing, but there is a little bit of extra part in the official packages repository list there. So you'll do the same thing there again. Okay, great. And oh, I have uh, named, numbered these unusually because this is an extra step that is so rarely required once only every two years uh, because of the, the long-term service release that comes out every uh, sort of fourth, six month period. And here we go. So we need to actually do the same command again, but change the, the Ubuntu backend uh, from Focal, which is 20.04 to 22.04. So that is, in other words, from Focal to Jammy. So we pop that one in, we hit enter. We do the basically the same thing as we did before, just to switch anything out, just in case. Uh, and then we've got uh, ver part six. Well, this is uh, not the most clearest of videos, I'm sure. But here we go. Part six next is to just update and upgrade the repositories again and completely forget step seven. That's not required anymore. That's an old one there. So basically, once that's all done, you're going to have to probably restart the machine a few times. It will uh, prompt you on a whole bunch of things. Just click yes, 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 enter, enter, enter. And uh, fingers crossed you should get this puppy going as well for a little bit of a testing fun. Now, it's not always guaranteed to work. Some fairly high degree of technical expertise is sometimes required, but uh, it did work okay for me right now. Linux Mint 21 is not available in the, in the beta format, at least officially. In fact, you might even call this alpha uh, because it's just not released beta yet. But hey, you can see all the cool things. So the updated cinnamon, the updated kernels, the, the newer version, cinnamon there, uh, some of the new wallpapers, that kind of thing. But that's pretty much, uh, pretty much it for the video, guys. Uh, steps one through six, and away you go. So thanks for watching. Uh, please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.